uh, sorry to have kept you waiting. We will start the opening symposium, the International Innovation Hub in Tsukuba. And I am from AIST. Uh, I, my name is Koichi Awazu. First of all, from uh, Mr. Nohara Satoshi, Director General from Commerce and Information Policy Bureau, METI, will give an opening remark. Nohara-san, please. Thank you. So I am Nohara, Director General, Commerce and Information Policy Bureau, Ministry of Economic Trade and Industry. I would like to say a few words on behalf of the organizers organizers, semiconductors, which are used in all kinds of devices from computers to home appliances and automobiles are extremely important key components that support the economy and society. The current global shortage of semiconductors is having an impact on the world's manufacturing industry, for example, by leading to production cuts in car plants. This is a reminder of the importance of semiconductors as a, as a key component in the supply chain. In light of this situation, the METI convened a panel of experts in March this year to discuss new industrial policies for semiconductors and in June announce its semiconductor strategy. The strategy points out the importance of developing semiconductor technology and of maintaining and strengthening the competitiveness of equipment and materials technology. The new Advanced Semiconductor Manufacturing Technology Development Project will focus on the development of front-end front miniaturization process and back-end 3D packaging technologies. One of the core of the project is Tsukuba Site, which is driven by TIA and AISD. In the front-end project, AISD will play a central role in establishing a shared pilot line for the manufacture of advanced semiconductor. In order to facilitate the development and operation of the pilot line, the Consortium of Advanced Semiconductor Manufacturing Technology has been established with members from the Japanese manufacturing equipment and materials industries and overseas advanced foundries and will be made available to all interested parties. In the back end project, the TSMC Japan 3D IC R&D Center will work with Japanese equipment and material manufacturers at AIST. In order to implement these projects effectively, TIA will collaborate with research institutions, including those overseas, to promote open innovation. We hope that semiconductor manufacturers, equipment and material suppliers, universities and other players in the semiconductor supply chain, both in Japan and overseas, will take advantage of these initiatives. The government also hopes that these projects will help to revitalize the semiconductor industry, particularly at TIA and AISD. So continuously, from NIDO, New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, Vice President Mr. Nishimura Tomoyasu will give us the overview of research and development project of the enhanced infrastructures for both 5G information and communication. I'm Nishimura from NIDO. Thank you very much indeed for coming to see my presentation. In NIDO, the uh, we have a funding of 200 billion yen that came from METI, and we are working on the project management of R&D project of enhanced infrastructures for post 5G, I see. And please go to page two. And there are two major pillars in this project. Uh, please take a look at uh, the red uh, pillars. There are two, and 
So super low latency or multi connectivity, uh, new functionalities are required for post 5G, and we are promoting that kind of technology development. And on the right hand side, this is the more relevant topic to this event. So development of advanced semiconductor manufacturing technology. And to uh, uh, development of advanced semiconductor technology, there are two steps. One is front end and the other is back end. So front end project, two nanometer uh, process is the latest technology and uh, we are improving the platform for those kind of technologies and uh, iced is leading the project and uh, we are working together with uh, three major uh, japanese companies and uh, it will be explained by iced later however we serve as an agent for iced and uh, we are creating a consortium to work together with the uh, uh, global companies or companies from uh, overseas and um, please go to page four and this is the back-end project so the largest uh, foundry in the world the uh, tsmc it's a, a japanese subsidiary so TSMC uh, Japan 3D IC R&D Center Inc. Uh, is uh, taking part in our project and the 3D package technology development they are working on. And uh, ICED Tsukuba Center is uh, playing an a central role and uh, we tighten the collaboration with the Japanese manufacturers. So, uh, the, there will be a great center for the advanced uh, technology of a semiconductor in Japan, and it will contribute to the revitalization of the Japanese semiconductor industry. And uh, going to the next page, uh, you can see B2 and B3 in the second column. And one of the panelists today, uh, Professor Niwa, from the uh, University of Tokyo. Uh, he is reading uh, RAS, Research Association for Advanced Systems, and uh, uh, the other organization are involved in these uh, three uh, development projects. So in NATO, uh, we would like to properly manage the uh, each technology uh, development in front end and back end, and uh, uh, we would like to contribute to uh, the revitalization of the semiconductor industry in Japan. And this is uh, a kind of call for action to the participants today. So uh, we would like you to fully utilize the uh, ICE the Tsukuba Center pilot line. And uh, uh, the, we would like to strengthen the collaboration with uh, our R&D group of partners. Thank you very much. So this will be followed by Dr. Tetsuji Yasuda, Director General, Department of Electronics and Manufacturing, IST. We'll talk about the development of advanced semiconductor manufacturing technology at IST. Yasuda-san, please. So I am Yasuda from AIST, so I hope you can see the screen. So the ad advanced semiconductor manufacturing technology development at AIST will be my topic. As uh, Mr. Nishimura just explained, Explained among NEDO post 5G projects, AIST is involved uh, in uh, the, the three projects. First is the development of manufacturing process technology and pilot line for advanced logic devices with 3D channel structures. And we call this front end project. 
and we participants are Tokyo Electronic Electron Screen Semiconductor Solutions and Canon. And we will be working on nano sheet transist sister. So this is a pilot line to produce uh, nano sheet transistors. And second is 3D IC technology research and development. We call this back end projects. And a uh, participant is 3CSMC Japan 3D IC R&D Center Incorporated. And uh, there's another back end project development of direct bonding 3D stack technology with RAS Research Association for Advanced Systems. And Professor Niwa will be uh, introducing this later in the panel. And uh, where these, this project will take place, this is uh, the picture of iced Tsukuba West. We have a super clean room building and SCR building, and we will have uh, the front end project in the super clean room SCR. And the back end project will be uh, in the high functional IoT device research building. And the construction of the building has already been completed and now we are uh, preparing the facilities inside the building. So about uh, the front end projects, the background. In Japan, there is no semiconductor fab producing advanced logic IC. But as you know, equipment and material companies are very competitive in the world market. On the other hand, uh, the two uh, 20, from 2024 to 2025, the two nanometer, uh, sub two nanometer will come into the mar market and the transistors will change from fin FET to nano sheet FET. So a big paradigm shift is coming and the uh, nano sheet FET is very complex. So uh, this uh, is very difficult for one company to develop and validate. So the purpose of this project is uh, for ICE to offer a common pilot line to fabricate nanosheet FET, while uh, TEL screen and Canon each develop future technology nodes. So that is the uh, purpose. And in uh, SCR ICE, there is a 65 nanometer CMOS line up and running, and we will add 20 new machines uh, so that nanosheet FET fabrication can be done. This pilot line, other than these three companies, uh, many companies and universities uh, will be able to participate and we have started a consortium. Tokyo Electronic will uh, provide new equipment and material, screen semiconductor solutions will offer cleaning and annealing technologies, Canon uh, nanoprint lithography technology, and they will develop that in their own sites. And the WAFAR uh, will be exchanged with iced line and each company's uh, product can be uh, val validated uh, in the iced common pilot line. Uh, the technologies to be developed in front end projects, uh, there are four of them. First is lithography, argon F immersion lithography, and pattern formation by nano imprint lithography, and direct writing by electron beam lithography. So, so this it will be an uh, alternative to UV. Uh, this, this Closure. And uh, silicon nanosheet formation, silicon silicon germanium epitaxial growth with low defect des density, low damage etching of heterostructure, and selective etching of silicon germanium. And number three is high K metal gate stack formation. In the nanosheet, there are uh, very small nano spaces. So this uh, so we will have gate all around formation of high uh, K metal gate stack by LD. And number four is the uh, integration of these four element technologies to have nano sheet transistor process integration with low power consumption and noise. The pilot line uh, will be open to a wide range of users. 
and uh, the activities is to facilitate R&D and implementation of advanced semiconductor manufacturing technology through pilot line. And we have established a consortium. And uh, this consortium, uh, the uh, members uh, will be able to efficiently do the development when they need uh, the facilities. And there are three types of members. Category one are the three companies who will be participating in building the line. And category two members are the users of the line. And uh, the and and category two members are able to join after uh, next year. So namely equipment manufacturers, man man materials manufacturers and device companies. And support members uh, will cooperate in terms of information exchange for line building. There is TSMC, Intel, USJC, TIP, TAP, ESCO, and IBM. And Mr. Tateiwa from TEP, ESCO will be participating in uh, the later panel discussion. And benefits uh, or advantages of becoming a consortium member. By becoming a category member, you can use the latest equipment installed in the pilot line as well as common IPs developed in front end projects. And like the category one members, the, uh, they can val uh, validate in the full process in and each member can perform R&D of its own interests under joint research agreements with IST. Therefore, uh, the joint research uh, secrets will not uh, leak to other members. And also, there are seminars and workshops uh, which are limited to consortium members. So if you are interested, please uh, contact the email address shown on the bottom left. And this is a schedule of setting up the line. And we are now going through a government uh, procurement process. And in February or March, we will be able uh, to show the information on the web page. And then uh, the equipment will be installed and uh, be uh, enabled. And, and this will be available to the users middle of 2023. And a nanosheet FET full process will be uh, available at in 2025. So uh, it takes quite a time until the full process becomes available. Uh, but uh, there are already equipment. Uh, there is iced uh, system uh, where uh, to perform R&D in iced facilities, and that is available already. So please look at these websites uh, for further information. So what is related uh, to what I have uh, spoken up till now, uh, the IST uh, started the activities of the next generation computing platform development base, and we started this this year. So this is, for example, quantum uh, computing and optical uh, computing. So this is the uh, next generation computing. And the functions include R&D strategy, R&D execution, and open innovation platform. And the uh, front end pilot line uh, will be a poster child of this open an innovation platform. And uh, next is about back end projects. I will explain briefly. Participant is TSMC Japan 3D IC R&D Center. And the R&D line is uh, the Iced Tsukuba West, which I showed you the photo earlier. And Iced assignment is taking part in the development of new materials and processing technologies for 3D IC packaging. And we have the chip on wafer on substrate uh, structure. And uh, we show the roles and responsibilities sharing between IST and TSMC. IST will uh, be responsible for thermal interface materials, micro bump and mount mounting assembly uh, will be done uh, by TSMC. And for further details, there will be a keynote speech uh, by Semicon De Japan from uh, Mr. Chris Chan, who is the director of TMC TSMC Japan 3DIC R&D Center. So this is a summary. 
front end and back end lines for cutting edge semiconductor manufacturing RD are to be set up in ICE Tsukuba. And ICE is pleased to host this in an open innovation platform for a wide range of players of industry, academia, and government, as well as for international cooperation with overseas RD organization. So that was all from me. Thank you very much. So now we would like to move into the panel discussion. The theme is how can we reboot semiconductors for the past 5G technologies based on the TIA? Moderator is Dr. Kanayama from uh, AIST. So Mr. Kanayama, could you please? Uh, thank you very much, kind introduction. This is Kanayama from AIST, and the uh, time is limited, but we would like to have a panel discussion. Uh, Mr. Nishimura from NATO and uh, uh, Mr. Yasuda from AIST talked about this, but uh, uh, the Center of Development, RD Center, will be created and the collaboration will be improved. And how we can make this uh, contribute to the revitalization of the semiconductor industry in Japan, we would like to discuss. So uh, I think we have all the members of the panelists. So to start with, so Imeti, uh, the, literally the person who is leading this project. So uh, Mr. Ogino uh, Yohei, Director of Device and Industry Semiconductor Strategy Office of METI. So could you please start? Thank you very much. Can you hear me? So I'm in charge of a device uh, semiconductor strategy in Commerce and Information Policy Bureau, IT Industry Division of METI. So opening is simple. Uh, this is the opening symposium for the International Innovation Hub in Scuba toward the Advanced Semiconductor Manufacturing. And uh, there are some asks from our side. And uh, I think all these information is known to everyone who is gathering here. So semiconductor, the all sorts of digitalization, uh, the semiconductor is very important. So for all sorts of digitalization, a semiconductor must be there. And uh, this is uh, will be a pillar of uh, all the industry in Japan. And uh, we change our strategy fundamentally in this area. And uh, uh, we have to be changing in Japan as well. And this is the overall picture of the semiconductor industry. So what kind of organizational change do we need? So from the viewpoint of economic security, all the environment is changing. And uh, uh, there is a problem of a semiconductor shortage and uh, uh, stable supply is necessary. So both for demand side and the supply side, we have to seek after uh, security and the global collaboration is mandatory. And the process that will be developed in this project, uh, it's about the establishment of manufacturing technology. And uh, this leads to the competitive edge of a semiconductor industry in Japan. And uh, this has been already uh, explained by the other presenters. So there are two project, uh, front end project and back end project. And in IST or uh, the, the, the Korean room in IST, the, these technologies will be developed. And so from the viewpoint of METI, uh, IST uh, should become a center of uh, all the development around the semiconductor in the future. And the TIA uh, is playing a very important role in this 
uh, framework and expectation is becoming higher on tier. So as you know, Japanese semiconductor industries were a little bit stagnant in the past years, and we need to revitalize them. And Chia has been working on that, and uh, they will be accelerating their effort to revitalize the Japanese semiconductor industry. So as you can see here, there are many expectations, and especially in Chia, uh, they should be the center of uh, uh, development in Japan, and uh, uh, semiconductor-related technology should not be uh, developed only by the Japanese companies, but the global collaboration is very important, and uh, uh, the companies from overseas should be involved. And uh, we would like uh, TIA to strengthen that kind of effort, and uh, they are working on that kind of uh, creation of a consortium for the future development, and our expectation is very high on that. So TIA and the METIS project. So if there is anything missing, then we would like to hear your opinions about that. Uh, we can welcome uh, any criticism or your very frank opinion would be appreciated and we would like to strengthen our uh, strategy or project uh, development. So this is just a starting point and your continuous feedback would be appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ogina, for the TIA and basis. Thank you very much for the very encouraging words of so from next is uh, the uh, Mr. Takuro Yoshimoto, who is uh, from the Environment and Energy Division from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports and Technology. I am Yoshimoto from Ministry of Education, and we belong to the Environment and Energy Division. And uh, it's quite rare for us to be invited in uh, sessions like this one. Other than uh, semiconductor, uh, storage battery, uh, fuel cells, and uh, environmental energy. So in the context of uh, decarbonization, we are involved uh, in the support uh, of uh, academic institutions in the R&D of these areas. And for semiconductor IC area, this we was mainly done, uh, done by METI because uh, that was mainly uh, the industry area. However, in the Ministry of Education, we supported uh, the ac academia a, li a little bit, but it ha was quite rare for the Ministry of Education to be supporting this field in a full-fledged manner. However, uh, from the perspective of talent development, if there, uh, if we don't have any students who are majoring in integrated circuits in university, uh, that would be very problematic for Japan in 10 or 20 years. So that's why we thought uh, Ministry of Education should also support this in this area. So from uh, this summer, we just started uh, thinking about supporting uh, the semiconductor integrated uh, circuit area. And this material is about strengthening the support for academia in the field of semiconductor integrated circuits. So this uh, about R&D for totally new materials and talent development. I think this is the main role of Ministry of Education, and we are now considering uh, what we can do uh, to do this. About new principles and materials, the uh, front-end process and back-end process, uh, METI has already uh, extended uh, quite a lot of support. So what the Ministry of Education can do uh, we can focus on uh, the technologies or principles, materials, and architectures which will be in uh, practical use around 2040. So 
this is uh, more into the future. Uh, for example, uh, we have next generation X, next semiconductor development. And this we have requested uh, for the budget. And for power electronics, we have already given support from the past. But for integrated circuit for logic memory, not only uh, the development, but we should help promote uh, this being re uh, researched in academia. The amount is 900 million yen, but this is just a starting point. And together with METI, we do this together with METI because uh, research should link to industrial policy. So first, uh, we need to secure the budget. And then uh, we want to go for, move forward with our projects. This area we just started this year, but so we are taking baby steps. So I hope that we can receive advice and support uh, from uh, many people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Yoshimoto. As you pointed out, so for the uh, future development or future enhancement of uh, education, uh, this kind of technology investment is very important. Uh, research effort in the colleges should be there. So uh, you are in a position to answer these uh, or fulfill these uh, expectations. So uh, Mr. Kanemaru from ICE, could you please show your presentation here? Uh, I'm in charge of TIA Central Office. My name is Kanemaru, and uh, from METI and uh, Ministry of Education and Science, we heard a lot. So in ICE, we have uh, a green room, and we would like to create a, a, a pilot line for uh, advanced uh, semiconductor manufacturing technology. So uh, I'd like to uh, elaborate on that kind of uh, plan. So it's a kind of review. So tier symposium, uh, we have been having a tier symposium. And back in 2009, so all the research organizations gathered together and to um, accelerate the uh, innovation uh, we created this TIA, and this is the 12th year since the establishment. As you can see here, IST and NIMS and uh, University of Tsukaba, uh, the University of Tokyo and Tohoku University, KEK, uh, these six organizations are involved in the operation of TIA. TIA's vision is uh, to provide an forum for open innovation and we collaborate with the industry and also the with the other research organizations and we create and incubate lots of seeds for the future technologies and to solve the social issues and the industrial needs we foster these uh, uh, technology seeds and we actually realize innovation. So uh, this is what we have been doing in the past 10 years. And since last year, we entered into the third period of a tier. And each organization set their uh, objectives. And the major uh, theme for the third period is uh, this one you can see here, semiconductor materials database and the light and quantum measurement. And on top of that, in the past 10 years, the uh, power electronics, MEMS, carbon tube, nanotube and nanogram biotechnology and medical treatment will be uh, keeping uh, these uh, efforts as well. However, uh, more strategic uh, themes are top three. And the METI's uh, semiconductor strategy was set, and especially the semiconductor, the top one. 
also to create a platform for a semiconductor, uh, we are allowed to keep having or the running SRC. So uh, we would like to make it a center of the semiconductor technology development. And as you can see here, this is the iced and uh, oh, uh, we have a clean loom to create a platform, the uh, technology development and the related uh, uh, organizations and the related resources are shown here. Sorry, it's a busy uh, graph, but and the University of Tohoku has the uh, clean loom and the NIMS. Uh, they have a capability to develop the new material that will be needed for the future semiconductor and uh, highly sensitive analysis of a photon factory and uh, how uh, the these technology can be uh, lead, led to the uh, implementation or creation of actual a semiconductor or technology, we have those resources and also uh, we are setting up a design center. So in the past, uh, each organization worked on the specific uh, area one by one. However, collaborating with uh, the industry and all the other academic research institutions, we would like to accelerate the uh, all the efforts and technology development in a semiconductor and uh, the organic connection the, among uh, different resources it's not enough yet so we would like to enhance our capability to manage all those collaborations and to, to be able to complete this project, we would like to flexibly change the organizational structure and we tended to look just inside Japan. However, we needed to broaden our perspective. Uh, semiconductor is really a global industry. So we needed to look at the um, players in the other countries as well. And as it was explained earlier, uh, the research platform will be created in the next fiscal and uh, fully utilizing that platform, we would like to uh, accelerate the semiconductor industry uh, R&D activities. Thank you, Mr. Kanemaru. So uh, the three speakers up till now are from the policy side and also the uh, provider of the base. And the next two panelists are the users, uh, potential users of this uh, new facility. First, we have from Tower Partners Semiconductor, Dr. Tate Iwa, General Manager of Tower Partners Semiconductors. And Tower Partners Semiconductors is a foundry, a very strong foundry, which has operations in Japan and a support member of the Advanced Semiconductor Consortium. And and TPS has already utilized uh, the uh, iced uh, base and has contributed grazing, uh, has used TIA. So uh, I think uh, Tate Iwa-san can speak about uh, things that can improve TIA further. So please, Tate Iwa-san. First, I will introduce the company Tower Partners, uh, since many of you may not be familiar and then explain the relationship between uh, Tower Partners and IST. And the final point is expectation to IST initiative. Uh, the Tower Partners Semiconductors was formerly the Power Panasonic's semiconductor business. And in 2014, uh, with uh, the help of Power Jazz, Tower, uh, uh, Tower Jazz Panasonic uh, was the original name. But in 2020, 
the design design division went to NTC. So our company's name changed to Tower Partner Semiconductors, TPS Co. In short. So please remember us uh, under the name TPS Co. Our business is uh, the uh, we are a foundry for analog semiconductors. We focus on analog because life itself is analog. Of course, there is digital for signal processing, but this world is made of analog. That's why we focus on analog. And this, although this is repetitive, uh, since the real world is analog, we focus on analog. And the uh, in input for uh, digital LSI and RF output uh, are all analog. And these are our focus areas, especially cutting edge analog technology is our area. And uh, both analog and digital are necessary for digital transformation. So analog uh, is also very important here. And our location, we are located in uh, our headquarters are in Toyama in Hokuriku area. And maybe uh, you know this area. It's a very beautiful scenery can be enjoyed. So after COVID, uh, please uh, come to Hokuriku area. This is the relationship between TPS Co and uh, ICE TIA. So as was inter introduced, we are a support member of ICE consortium. And at the same time, the technology developed by ICE, uh, we have been uh, bringing that to mass, mass production. We have customers A, B, C. These are uh, concrete examples for customer A after using NIDO program, program, the technology developed by ICE uh, were brought to TPS Co and multiple products are already under productization. And likewise, uh, customer C uh, started in 2018. So after with the support of METI and NEDO, the development was performed in ICE. And now TPS Co uh, is now uh, producing this. And company, customer B, uh, we have been doing joint development together. But certain uh, processes uh, or steps could not be done only in our facilities. So recently, uh, some specific uh, processes are performed in ICE. So like these examples, ICE and TPS Co towards mass production, uh, we are working together. And these are our expectations uh, of this ICE initiative. We TPS Co uh, is for RF front end. We are the leading supplier for both 4G and 5G. We produce many products and ICE uh, activities is mainly digital, but towards the post 5G area from both analog and digital. I hope that we can support the next generation. And maybe this will come up later. But for chip stack technology, this is also our focus area. And for next and I hope, uh, I assume that next generation advanced technology will be developed. And I hope that uh, this environment will also be available to us. And for digital front end, two nanomet uh, nanometer node uh, are also developed. And I assume that many element technologies will also be developed. And if any of these technologies can be applied to analog, or if any of our customers um, can might use uh, those technologies. So we have expectations on such technology. And the fourth bullet, uh, material 
suppliers and tool suppliers. Uh, so first, uh, these activities will be centered around tool suppliers and material suppliers. But also, we hope that this can expedite uh, future growth uh, for also for semiconductor manufacturers. Thank you. Mr. Tadeiwa, thank you very much. Based upon the collaboration in the past, uh, I could see that you are putting great expectation on the new framework. So a different, uh, these are different uh, perspective will be given by um, Professor Niwa of RAS. So RAS is um, the Research Association for Advanced Systems, where uh, University of Tokyo is playing a central role. And uh, uh, Mr. Niwa, could you please? Thank you very much. I'm Niwa from Graduate School of Engineering at the University of Tokyo Systems Design Lab. So today I'd like to talk about the introduction of post 5G advanced semiconductor manufacturing process. So this is what we are working on in Research Association for Advanced Systems. We call the association as RADS. So the topic or theme of this project is development of directed bonding 3D stack technology. And the subtitle is Equipment and Process Development for WOW and COW. And uh, under the RAST in envelope, so members of uh, the grantees are screen holdings in Daikin Industries and Panasonic Smart Factory Solutions uh, Company Limited and Fujifilm and the University of Tokyo. And the Joint Research Institute is ICED. And in a word, this theme is about uh, development of direct uh, bonding 3D stack technology for construction of WOW and chip on wafer technologies. So for post 5G, uh, info communication systems will require more advanced uh, semiconductor and to promote the technology development of uh, uh, such semiconductor, uh, we'll be able to accelerate the development of uh, 5G information communication systems and we can contribute to revitalize the revitalization of the semiconductor industry. So, so we have uh, wafer on wafer bonding and the chip on wafer bonding technologies. And we would like to promote the uh, R&D on these two technologies simultaneously. And for WOW, uh, surface activation bonding technology will be used. And this technology, Russ advisor and uh, Professor Emeritus of the University of Tokyo, Professor Suga, uh, came up with this idea and we are trying to realize his idea into practical use. So oxide and absorption layer is here and in uh, vacuum, uh, we will, we will uh, radiate uh, this kind of beam, ion beam, then uh, we remove the uh, unnecessary layers and uh, nano adhesion layer formation and organic molecular bonding will be used to make it void free and uh, we try to reduce the uh, particle and uh, we try to uh, make high accuracy alignment and for chip on wafer technology 60 meter uh, 60 nanometer uh, diameter or the uh, this uh, circle has uh, a 60 nanometer in size and uh, substrate and chips will be 
put together uh, using the uh, inorganic anisotropic uh, conductive film. And uh, also, we promote the um, research and development of plasma dyeing to make uh, this particle flee. And uh, together with that, uh, this kind of evaluation and uh, analysis technologies, so electrical characterization or surface flatness measurement, quite high level uh, the variation technology would be needed. So we would like to enhance the um, development of that area as well. So that's all for uh, our uh, development efforts. Uh, thank you for the detailed explanation, Professor Niwa. So that uh, is a very uh, high target. So please uh, make full use of the scuba base to enhance or improve your technology further. So we still have time, so we would like to move into the discussion. So uh, the the two final two panelists explained uh, expressed their expectations from the user perspective. So for the scuba base to uh, become uh, a good facility, we need uh, more uh, feedback. And from your experience on using scuba from the past, uh, do you have any requests to scuba? Well, we are a production base and scuba is a development base. So if it's a production base, there are things that we cannot do. So that's why we consult IST and uh, ask uh, development to happen in IST. And sometimes as a development base, sometimes IST uh, uh, has, does not have enough flexibility. And if we for there are also things that we all want to do for the future. So this is an area that we would appreciate if you could improve. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned the word flexibility. Are you talking about materials? Yes, uh, material flexibility. And in a specific process, this type of uh, ice, uh, there are some uh, rules in ice making uh, it uh, difficult to perform uh, such develop uh, certain types of development. Uh, you said uh, that cannot be uh, helped, but from the, per uh, the position of operating the base, we need uh, to guarantee high quality. So how can we balance quality and flexibility? That is uh, quite uh, challenging as like mass production, uh, mass production quality and flexibility are, uh, we need to st strike a good balance, but at least in for menu for uh, mass production, I hope that you can give us more flexibility. Thank you. So the same question that goes to uh, Professor Niwa. As you know, 3D uh, IC system is mandatory for the new generation uh, telecommunication system and the semiconductor. So I focus up on the back end process today, but the 3D system, the implementation of 3D systems from the viewpoint of process, front end and back end there should be no border between them. So they should be merged together. So there is such a big paradigm shift. And from a higher perspective, 3D system, to make it effective, uh, system design is very important. So system um, design comes first, then 3D uh, integrated circuit can be created. So back end and the front end, all the considerations should be uh, included in the design process. So, and uh, we should have a forum to discuss that. 
Yes, the front end dot and back end, uh, the iced uh, explanation was like that. So, Mr. Kanamaru, how do you think? So, thank you uh, very much for the very youthful feedback. And uh, yes, and you are right. We have to replift up upon ourselves. We have been operating TIA uh, in the past 10 years, especially iced clean room. From 10 years ago, the, there was a national semiconductor project 10 years ago, 40 to 60 nanometers generation. The output of uh, these uh, research, uh, we, uh, our mission was to put that into commercial use. And that was the main theme of this facility these past 10 years. And there has been many requests during this time. As mentioned earlier, uh, materials, uh, new materials, to were needed uh, to make uh, more high performance uh, semiconductors. And since this is a RD line, not a mass production line, so we wanted to uh, make it as open as possible. But the resources uh, that was uh, there was uh, a resource has been developed by a semiconductor company called Selit, and Iced was not directly involved there. So we uh, were not uh, able to go deep into the technology. So that is our reflection. And now we will build a new pilot line. And we are involved from the very beginning uh, from introducing uh, the equipment and process and process development. So what will be included and what will be the impact? Uh, we, I, we were are able to uh, really uh, judge uh, what can be done. And so we will have the technical background for that. And as Yasuda-san explained, we will build a consortium and there will be support members and foundries will be support mem members and we can do preliminary discussion to prepare for what is needed up till now we just uh, st uh started action after uh, receiving order from the customers but we can start at an earlier stage for both sides to agree on a common uh, goal and in that way i think we can expand ex enhance flexibility and from the system perspective the current process line we have front end and back end process these should not be separate but we should focus on what we want to make at the end of the day and to make that what will be the most effective combination to build the chip and that is very important uh, for accelerating uh, the speed of production and what we and how we operated up to now as we saw you the diagram uh, each part uh, in tia we have great uh, technical teams but uh, these different teams working together uh, to develop uh, for a common goal we did not have that so far so previously six organizations uh, were uh, doing research uh, individually and so we, they did not really work together so the system that was requested we need uh, to understand the system first so the tia will really receive that and uh, with your uh, suggestion the six organizations and if that is not enough, we want to expand uh, the network. And we have been doing that. However, we are still short of international networks, but we will build such networks so that we can uh, meet the application side needs and uh, have synergy effect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kanamaru. So uh, the we have very active discussions, but uh, the, uh, it's already past five. So uh, any other things that you would like to point out to Mr. Aguino? Thank you very much. We heard various opinions and uh, uh, 
uh, answer was, was given by Chia. And uh, it's true for semiconductors, but to go forward, uh, sometimes uh, there is a question like uh, chicken or egg, but everything should be conducted simultaneously to some extent. And uh, taking this event as uh, a trigger and all the participants here are our members. So uh, the, this should be a good a starting point to take a review on the current Ogaza Indishira approach or how we are proceeding with the project. And uh, Mr. Yoshimoto, it's, uh, you talked about the flexibility. So uh, it's about uh, trying new things. So, of course, working with the TIA uh, and uh, in collaboration with the other centers, uh, the, we would like to foster uh, resources and so on. Thank you very much. So it's past five. So we would like to conclude the uh, panel discussion. So. This was an opening symposium and kickoff event. And we discussed how the um, uh, development platform should be in the future. And uh, the center will be in full production. So we will be hearing uh, more uh, the wider variety of uh, different opinions and so on. And uh, over to you, the MC. Uh, Kaneyama-san and panelists, thank you very much. So that concludes uh, the, all the sessions for the day.